Hey, welcome back to another exciting episode of Gil Skills. Today, we're not playing any games. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, because today we're going to be micro scrapping this Nintendo Wii. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, for those of you that have been around a while, you know what to do. But for those of you that are new to the channel, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to learn whenever there's a new video on Gill Skills. It would mean a lot to me, it would mean a lot to the channel and the YouTube algorithm. So we've got this Nintendo Wii that we're gonna go ahead and take apart, disassemble, see what inner goodness is on the inside. So I figured the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and take apart the controllers and see what's in there. Screwdriver here. We've got some tiny screws in there. It looks like we've got a metal spring here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that. Ooh, those clever bastards. Those aren't traditional screws. Those are those tri-tipped screws to try to prevent people from taking these apart. But fortunately, I actually have the tip needed to take these out. So I'll go ahead and do that. Those are not tri-tips. That's a tri-tip. All right, let's go ahead and take this off real quick. Get all four of those out, so let's see if I can open this up. Okay, I've never opened one of these before, so this should be interesting, huh? So we got some, huh, we got some plastic <laughs> with some buttons. I'll go ahead and start putting that over here. And we got more rubber, rubber, rubber. We got a speaker. And we got more plastic over here, so these are all the buttons. And plastic. Right. There's a little bit more metal in there. I'm going to grab that in just a second. More rubber, plastic. This is going to be there's going to be a lot of plastic here. So this is what the inside of one of these controllers looks like. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot of gold flashing on here, which is really nice. A uh, little mini flat pack. I think that's an IC. IC. A few other little doodads here and there. Interesting little board. Mm -hmm. Some gold flash tips up here as well. I'll go ahead and set that aside and uh, I'll get the other one done here real quick. Here's the second controller. <clears throat> now I want to make one thing perfectly clear. You know, because I do these videos, I do a lot of these teardowns. A lot of the things that I'm doing, you know, with the Gill Skills channel and No Metal Left Behind, a lot of what I'm doing here is just to simply show you guys what metal is in any given object, any given piece of e-waste or what have you. I don't always go for every single bit of metal that is in a, whatever I'm scrapping. So I, I do it because I like tearing things apart for you guys and showing you what's inside but do I do it on a regular basis? No. Uh, would you do it on a regular basis? Probably not. But it's nice to know if some things have metal and where they are in case you do want to do it. So that's why I disassemble all this stuff. Perfectly disassemble. Like totally disassemble all this stuff. But let's go ahead and continue, shall we? All right, let's see. We got, oh man, this piece right here, this little, you know, controller thingy has got, let me snip the wire here this with the other wire. All right, we get a couple more of those tri-wing screw tips, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it in there. That's what she said. The reason you guys saw me having such trouble with the controllers was because this is too fat. Bruh. This piece right here is too fat to fit down there, and it was slightly longer than this piece here. Like, it was it was a deeper hole. And this is way deeper, so I, there's no way I'm going to be able to get these screws. So I'm just going to kind of rip it apart and see if I can take it apart and and show you guys what's inside. Yep, 
Ian Matthews, this is for you. More plastic. Just set that over with the other plastic. Shrapnel plastic. <laughs> Couple more plastic buttons there. There we go. Maybe I can get those screws. Tell you what. More than one way to skin a cat. There's the screw. <laughs> no metal left behind. Yeah, there's the other screw. <laughs> I'll fiddle and try to get try to get that out of the plastic a little later. This is the final piece, the back piece of the um, little directional controller there. I think this is like a motion detector type of thing. So let me go ahead and snip the cord here. Put this with the other wire at the moment. There are some screws on here. Again, we've got some more tri-tip screws. Nintendo loves the tri-tip screws. So. Oh, by the way, guys, this is from that other controller here. So we got some rubber. We've got this uh, piece here where the buttons touch. This is the uh, directional controller there. Go put that with the other wire for the time being. I'm gonna separate these out. Just trying to keep all the wire together. So we've got that board there, and we've got that board there. Take a look at that. We got a nice little IC right there. We'll go ahead and continue. So far, we got a whole lot of plastic out of this Nintendo. To this day, I wish there was a way that we could recycle that plastic so that it didn't make its way into the landfill. I know that there are certain places throughout the U.S. that you can go and you can deliver the plastic to. Uh, you can invest in a shredder and stuff like that and have this pallet size bin of shreddable plastic and you can sell it and recycle it. But if that's just simply not available in this section of the country, we got more plastic here. And I think we got a couple more screws here that are hidden. You know, if you like to micro scrap stuff, I highly recommend you get yourself a screwdriver bit set because I, I got a whole bunch of bits in here, star bits, hex bits, regular Phillips heads, straight, tri-tipped, all that stuff. And you can get this at like Walmart for like 10, 15 bucks. So we get another piece of plastic here. Boy, there's really not much, <laughs> not much in this. We got a little bit of wire. Pull that off there, put that with the other wire. And then we've got this ribbon cable between these two very low grade board slash LED slash motion sensor detector thingies. Rip that off. And I'll put that ribbon wire with the other wire. And we'll keep on going. And the rest of this is just simply plastic. All right, so at this point we get the main body of the Wii left so we can start taking it apart. We got one screw here and then we've got a couple of screws here let me go ahead and get those out and then i'll see where any other hidden screws are so we can start taking this puppy apart i suspect there are screws down here and like underneath these little plates but we'll find out oh okay interesting i didn't know that but if you pull this this little back piece out has a little battery in it. Cool. Put that battery over here. Go, there's the screw. Put that over here. And there's another um, tri-tipped screw there. Let's take a look and see if there's any other screws underneath these pads. Oh yeah. So, so let me uncover those real quick. So I uncovered some regular Phillips head screw, uh, screws there, excuse me, and then two tri-tip screws. So I'll take those out. And there was a third screw there as well. All right, we've got a decent amount out here now. So let's see if I can start taking this thing apart. Oh, there's two more. Well, I'll tell you what, Nintendo definitely put their stuff together well. Gotta hand it to them. Eh. Eh. There we go. 
couple of more tri-tip screws. Let me take those off. All right, we're about to see the inner goodness of this thing here. So let's go ahead and slowly take it apart. I'm gonna take that front cover off here. Looks like there's some interesting stuff in here too. We got more screws. Looks like we might have some tiny boards in there. Just kind of fell apart on me here. More plastic. <laughs> Everything's kind of falling apart at this point. We get more plastic. This is all plastic. There's no metal on that. Plastic, 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 plastic. So we've got, <laughs> we've got this wire attached to these two small boards. There we go. So I'm gonna separate the boards from the wires. This is probably one of the most complicated disassemblies I have done in a while. Let me put that with the other wire. Any screws to speak of? None that I can see. Let's see if we can get into the back of this puppy. All right, more plastic. A lot of plastic. Wow, again, we've got two Phillips head screws and two tri-tip screws. Let me go ahead and get those out. I gotta be careful guys, because their Nintendo has already proven that they hide screws pretty much everywhere. And look, there's another screw right there. Let's grab that. And there's probably one right here. Oh yeah, there it is. And there's probably one over here. Nope, there's not one there. And there's not one there. But there's two there, and those are tri-tips. Let me get those off. Interesting. More plastic. We get some metal hanging out on the inside here, along with those tri-tip screws that I could not get out to save my life. But I am going to definitely try to get them, so fear not. Uh, let's see if I can get that metal out of there. This is interesting. Let's see if a magnet sticks to it. It does. So that is steel. Just put that over there for now. Nothing left but plastic on that bottom piece. There's a ton of screws here, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through those screws real quick. A lot more screws than I anticipated. Okay, we got a little like fan here. A little fan with a motor in it. Screws. Screws. This is not magnetic at all. So it could be stainless steel, it could be brass, it could be aluminum. I'll set that aside. More plastic. Three more screws. Lots of screws. Plastic. Okay. There are more screws in this thing. Non magnetic. There we go. Plastic. Metal. Non magnetic. screws non magnetic okay, more plastic 
it's interesting so far, you know, because there is a decent amount of metal here, but there's a lot of plastic too. Holy guacamole. Another screw. You guys let me know in the comments below if you like seeing what you see here or if you'd prefer to see something else. You know, feel free to let me know because I am pretty flexible. Now, it's probably a screw or something holding this in place, but I don't see it. All right, we're not quite ready for that yet. All right, that's definitely ferrous. All right, this is our first real look at the motherboard on the Nintendo Wii, which is pretty interesting. This is our Wi-Fi card, I think. Got a nice little uh, aluminum rad. Nice peripherals, nice gold flashing. Okay. Screws, screws, and more screws. All right, nice little aluminum rad. Very nice. And the board, otherwise known as the juicy bit. Both sides of this board actually looks really good. Look at all that gold flashing. Very nice indeed. A lot of IC chips. Got a nice little um, flat pack there. Yeah, yes. I am impressed. Again, that's the wireless. Let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. Put that with the wire. We got some ribbon cable here. All right, set that aside. And then I think all we got left from here is just the metal bottom, which is ferrous metal. And you guys know that um, there's brass in the plug. I always snip the plug. And then, of course, you got copper in the wire. And you've got a motor in here. Not a motor, but um, power supply. And my scrapyard takes these as power supplies. So I just snip each side and just throw it in a bin. So, and then, of course, you get your wire here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the bounty of what we have left for the Nintendo Wii. Let's go ahead and start from right to left. As you can see here, we've got a ton of wire. We've got brass with the plug and all that fun stuff. We've got some gold bearing ribbon cables. We've also got a ton of, we got some speakers, we've got the battery, we've got a ton of motors, fans, and optical uh, eyes for the DVD player. We've got some non-ferrous metal here, along with a decent aluminum rad. We've got a decent amount of metal here as well, as well as a smorgasbord of boards, as you can plainly see here from the motherboard, the controllers, and various other items inside the Nintendo Wii itself. So as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Uh, oh, I forgot, of course, there is the plastic. There is the plastic, as you can plainly see here, there is a lot of plastic that comes out of the Nintendo Wii. Now, as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the bounty of the Nintendo Wii. If you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, have a scrap happy day.